Good morning, everyone. My name is Ravya Mehfooz, and I'm from Islamabad, Pakistan. I am the co-founder of Women for Peace Tech, a platform that uses technology to empower women and to bring positive peace in the society. My role at Women for Peace Tech revolves around digital marketing, specified uh, focused uh, consultations and trainings. So back in 2018, my sister, Kuradara and Fatma, who is also a co-founder of Women for Peace Tech, spoke at the Build Peace Conference on the topic of GIS-based water dispute resolution system. It was a Build Peace funded project which she started in the rural areas of Punjab, Pakistan, an agency of Barani's area development, to map water disputes and to facilitate communities to resolve their water disputes in the arid areas of Punjab through geographical information system. She spoke extensively about this idea in her Build Peace talk, which can be accessed through Build Peace official YouTube channel. And here I am today to talk about the positive externality of that Build Peace project, an extended version of that project where we approached the underprivileged women to equip them with digital skills for earning livelihoods. So while serving the area for the implementation of the Build Peace project and talking to the local community, to the local women, we observed that the women of that area had the ambitions, had the willingness to learn but they did not have any strong platform or guidance to start off with. So based on those observations and those needs, a sub-project was created and discussed upon within the team as an offshoot of the already existing GIS project in the form of digital training modules for these women. And so before starting off with the planning and implementation phase, we had to do extensive research in that particular area. It's uh, a district called Chupal. Uh, it's, part of, uh, it's part of Punjab, where we approached these women. And so, um, through that gathered data, we, our team went from door to door and we did the surveys and, and we asked these women about their interest and their qualifications and their expertise. And the survey was done in the native language of Pakistan, which is Urdu, so that they can communicate easily and answer their questions. And through that gathered data, we were able to identify the untapped potential these women had. Most of them completed uh, their education till high school and even some of them had a bachelor's degree. So the passion was there, the curiosity was there, the willingness to learn and earn was there, but they did not have any uh, proper pathway to follow. So we developed our digital training module that included digital training specifically related to digital marketing, content creation, social media management, and client onboarding process. Alongside basic communication skills so that they can communicate with a new client, discuss on a new project, and hopefully secure it. And gladly, over a period of four months, we were able to train 150 women around them, that area. And because of that Build Peace project, we somehow got this opportunity to discover and act upon on this untapped area where we were able to train these women who are now able to earn from the ease of their homes. However, unfortunately, uh, after that, COVID came in and we had to pause our trainings. Uh, a lot of people got affected by the pandemic. Uh, most of them lost their jobs and were forced to stay at home. But on the other side, fortunately, because of the digital trainings, these women had access to the internet and they were able to find new clients in the international market to sustain their earnings, considering that the local Pakistani market was already crashing. Although other countries were being affected as well, but Pakistan being an underdeveloped country had its own struggles during COVID. So any of these women were able to sustain their earnings and were able to find new clients on different freelancer platforms, including Freelancer, Upwork, and Fiverr and were able to sustain their workflow even during lockdown and quarantine periods. So that was a plus point for them. And I'm happy to share that because of those trainings, we did not only help 150 women, but 150 households. And these women are now excelling without barriers, and they are building up on what they have learned so far. 
and this wouldn't have been possible without the continuous efforts, involvement, and fundings of our investors, volunteers, and the Women for Peace Tech team. Our future plan is to uh, incorporate our learnings and our experiences into our future strategies, to collaborate with like-minded people who hold the same vision of building peace through technology. And for the trainings, we plan to divide them into multiple phases, where each phase will consist of six months and will enroll 100 women. And apart from the freelancing platform, we also plan to connect them to the national and international IT software houses so that they can expand their learning circle. Lastly, uh, but not the least, I am grateful to the Build Peace team for providing me with this opportunity to share our collective efforts, learnings, experiences, and future hopes. So that's all for now. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them after the sessions. Thank you so much.